Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over access modifiers. Access modifiers allow us to set uh, specific restrictions on specific types. For instance, in our class right here, the vehicle, we have private, protected, and public. Um, we have um, an, an int for A, B, and C. So these are the three levels um, going from most secretive and least visible to most visible and out in the open. So let's take a look and see what we have. So if we try and go into van, it inherits from vehicle as we learned from the last video. So we know what that means. It means we have access to all of this. So if we essentially created our own van object. We would be able to tap into, let's take a look. We can't access A because it's private. However, whoops. However, we can access B and C. So we know that public then means that anybody can access it. So what does private mean? What are the, what's the difference? Or excuse me, what does protected mean? What's the difference between protected and public um, and protected and private? Well, private can only be accessed in here, as we know, and public can be accessed anywhere. So that means that protected must be somewhere in between. And you're right. Van can access B. It's protected. However, and that is only because it is inheriting straight from vehicle. If this was not inheriting from vehicle, there is no way we would be able to access it. So let's take a look. Here in program, we are not inheriting from vehicle. So we do not have direct access to vehicle. So if we made a van object right here and we try to tap into it the same way we would only see C and that is again because of inheritance so we inherit from vehicle and van and so we have direct access to um, van uh, vehicles members and so that is why we're able to access protected because it only allows us to access it if we are in direct contact with vehicle um, and so in this case, we would have to be, of course, inheriting from vehicle to have that direct contact. Since we are not inheriting from vehicle in this program right here, this program class, it doesn't matter if we make a, um, an object with van because van does not have um, the ability to reach protected inside of program. So again, protected variables or protected members are only accessible inside of a class uh, that directly inherits from the root class. So I hope that makes sense. That's essentially the main access modifiers that you're going to need. Um, if you have any questions about access modifiers, let me know. They're fairly straightforward. Um, there are a couple of other ones. Um, you typically will not see them, um, but we will go over them in a later video um, as we go through some more um, application style videos. So I hope to see you in the next one, and thank you very much.